I think you go on any play like that with the best intention, especially when you have a guy on your team that seems to have a horseshoe lodged up his rear end. Oh, it got thrown in from the corner. It's good. It's good. When I hit the high school shot, I was a 16-year-old in high school, sophomore. I ended up getting quite a bit of publicity for it, whether it was on the Today Show or winning the SB and beating the Tiger Woods Master Shot, getting asked to be on David Letterman, or you know, being on local TV. We talked to some of the guys on the team, and uh, they don't think we can do it again. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't think I can either. <laughs> I actually went down to Notre Dame to commit, but I ended up having a change of heart and decided to go to the University of Minnesota. So I was a little nervous, but you know, I said, hey, if you know, I, I, I'm confident in myself, I'll, I'll prove I can try to play. Throw down, Blake. Oh, play it, Blake. That's it, that's good. Open now, lead him out, lead him out, lead him out. I said, Blake, you're gonna go down in history as one of the best three-point shooters ever at the University of Minnesota. But you've gotta learn to get the shot off quickly, catch and release quickly, catch it in your shooting pocket, not dip it. And he did. Tubby had confidence in me. Him and I got along super well, but I will say he was definitely more of the, the tough love. My freshman year, I started off strong. We can shoot the basketball a little bit. We started off super strong in the non-conference, and then Big Ten, we had a lot of up and downs. We felt like we were still in the bubble, potentially, to make the NCAA tournament. It was basically a home game for Indiana. They were a tremendous team. Minnesota down to one. They got a second and a half now to go 94 feet and try to get a shot up. The play was drawn up where I would go to the left, come back to the right as soon as possible, try to get them off balance somehow. And then at that point, try to see somebody in that mass of humans. Travis Bush, inbound pass. Baseballs it up the court. I felt like it had a chance to get into somebody's hands. I was hoping it was our team, but I felt like I got it off pretty good. I saw the ball kind of tailing and, and saw a big scrum there, so I just decided, hey, I'm going to go up and try to grab this thing. For Blake to catch it all in one motion and turn and shoot was just a remarkable play. I heard the buzzer go off as I shot it. I saw it was on target, but as I kept moving towards the baseline, I couldn't see if it was still on angle or if I had the right kind of distance. I'm running down the court. I don't want to miss the party if it goes in, and it's like, that's going to go in. Bush on the inbounds, the baseball feed. It's caught up on the board. Oh, he got it! Yes, it counts! Minnesota wins! The place went silent. But I remember uh, Lawrence Westbrook and the rest of our team came and uh, pretty much tackled me like a linebacker, and I was a tailback and crushed me in the corner. Ended up hurting my ribs a little bit, but it didn't matter at that point. Pop Barber has it, turns, throws it up! Yes! 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 He hit it! Oh, God, unbelievable! 15-footer, like his high school name. Unbelievable! Go for it! 59, 58. Everyone was going nuts, and guys you would never expect to kiss me on the forehead were kissing me on the forehead slapping me on the butt and punching me in the chest and um, hitting my hair and giving me nuggies. I hugged Blake probably harder than I've ever hugged anybody in my life. The scrum ended pretty quickly, and at that point it was, you know, did it count? I think I remember hearing the coaches say, get in the locker room, get out of here. Whenever you make a last second shot, the officials, you know, once you're in the locker room, see, it's hard. <laughs> It's hard for them to change a call. Yeah. It's a single game elimination, so you have to refocus uh, immediately, especially after a win. We got another game in less than 24 hours, guys. We got to save our energy, yes, sir. All right. But I was still mad because I thought it should have never come down to that. We got a lot of basketball yet to play. You know, you got to forget about it and you got to move on. It went from super exciting, and then I know Tubby wanted to downplay it a little bit and make us not too excited so we'd lose the next game. So uh, he ended up getting on us in the locker room. We need people coming off the floor with floor burns and scrapes. That's how you overachieve. And that's what I want. That's what I expect.
I work in the business world now and I'm in sales. It's like, how do I know that name? Oh yeah, you're the guy that hit that Big Ten shot for the Gophers or you hit the butt shot. At first I was always kind of like, hey, I want to be known for, you know, a great basketball player and three-point shooter and, and, you know, if I have to be known for hitting two great shots like that, I'll take it.